Hey guys, what's up? Um, I'm going to be showing you my favorite go-to products and I'm going to try to make this as short as possible because I have a lot of products. First of all, um, I got a new mic. I've been getting a few complaints that not a lot of people can hear me and I've noticed that and it's probably the phone, so yeah. Another thing is I'm going to start posting consistently, so please leave down suggestions so yeah let's just get into it so yeah this is my one of my favorites but this is a head massager um it helps with um dandruff and hair growth so i use this a lot i use this like every single day i didn't use it yesterday by the way uh, so every other day um I use this in the shower when I wash my hair, and I use this when I put oil in my hair so it can absorb it. So, yeah. It was like um, a Christmas present. you probably seen it on my last video, and um, I think it was like $5. So, yeah. Um, then I have this Jason Tea Tree Treatment Shampoo. It helps with dry, flaky scalp. And I personally love this product and I probably would buy this again because we're kind of running out so yeah it's kind of pricey it's like 13 bucks I think but this was on sale at CVS so my mom got it my dog even uses this product because um, he gets flakes too so yeah then I got this per Burt's Bees peach and willow bark deep pore scrub this is what it looks like. Um, I got this from a Christmas present as well. I think it's kind of harsh on my skin, but it gets the job done. It smells really good also, so yeah. Then I have this Freeman clay mask. It's the apple cider vinegar one. It's a clay mask and a scrub, so yeah. Freeman is also a cruelty-free brand if you care about that stuff. Um, I didn't know that until I watched a video. And it also says it not tested on animals, but it's in very small writing. So, yeah. Um, it does a lot of things, and it's also for all skin types. So, yeah. There's still a lot in here because I don't use it a lot, but it's still my favorite. So, yeah. It's also like this pinkish color. When you put it on your face, if you've never seen this brand. I got this from Rite Aid, but it was also a present, so yeah. Okay, uh, this is my favorite, favorite, favorite hair mask. And it's the Carol's Daughter Almond Milk Daily Repair Mask. It uh, looks like this. Um... It smells like almond cookies, by the way, and it's for extremely damaged and over-processed hair. I have damaged hair, so I feel like I need a hair mask. So, using hair masks really help with damaged hair because it replenishes moisture back into your hair. And it's been really dry sometimes, and um, it needs moisture. So, yeah. You keep this on for like 10 minutes. And you wash it out um it reverses damage deeply repairs i mean nourishes and protects against damage and it has almond milk aloe butter and shea oil and it's also a cruelty free brand i think so yeah it's okay um this is normally 15 dollars and there is a sale going on at my local store and I found out it was like five dollars so I was like hey I can get this so I got it there was still a lot of still um still a lot of products there because I don't think a lot of people knew about it so yeah um hopefully it happens again because I still want more of the products so yeah then I have um a shea soft and smooth conditioner with a and it says it has a decadent aroma. Um, it really smells like chocolate cupcakes, to be honest. But it does the job. This is what it looks like. It was on clearance at 
Rite Aid and um so yeah I think it was the only one on Clarence every other OGX one was still at the regular price and it was still pricey so I was like you know what my mom was like you should just get it try it and I'm in love with it it makes my hair extremely soft and it's helped my hair a lot it has a lot of um good ingredients in it so yeah it's if you want your hair to be soft and um, smell like a snack, try this. I also have the shampoo of it, but I uh, I barely use it because I don't really use a lot of shampoo. I use a lot of conditioner because my hair needs it. So yeah, still does the same thing, still does the same job. It's just, I don't use a lot of shampoo. Since we're on the OGX, train right now um this is a keratin oil anti-breakage shampoo um this is what it looks like i had breakage in my hair and i felt like it was um perfect to use this and it's also good to use shampoos that have keratin or biotin in it because it helps with hair growth so yeah um I don't use this a lot, but I still like it. Um, it doesn't, I don't know how to describe the smell. It doesn't smell bad, and it doesn't smell like bomb, so yeah. Um, then I have this Maui Moisture Heal and Hydrate Shea Butter Hair Mask. It looks like this. <laughs> that was bad, but um, it's for dry and damaged hair. I have dry and damaged hair, but it's not like super damaged, but yeah. If you have damaged hair, it helps if you use hair masks because, um, and wide tooth combs because it helps with um, breakage, so preventing breakage, so yeah. My hair hasn't been breaking off in months because um, I've been using hair masks, but I just showed you what it looked like. It's white, not much to say, but it smells really good and it's natural and it's um vegan and it's cruelty free. Um it's there's other products that have that help you with different needs like for your hair. Like if you have dry hair, there's a shampoo and conditioner for dry hair. If you have frizzy and unruly hair, there's a shampoo and conditioner for that. So, yeah. There's also another, I think two other hair masks for um, different things like chem chemically damaged hair and frizzy and unruly hair, I think. But I don't have frizzy hair, so I didn't get that. This is like a kind of pricey. It was like $9.00. Um, I think I got it at CVS, so, yeah. Then, I have, what do I have? Witch Hazel. This is my Ride or Die product because I think it's helped in my acne a lot. I don't use it a lot because I forget to, but other than that, it's great. It says it compares to the TN Dickinson's Witch Hazel. That product is really expensive for no reason, and yeah it's better just to get this one because it's cheaper it's from target it was like four dollars so yeah um then i have this deep down detox mud mask this is like great if you want to like detox your face i don't know if this brand is cruelty free to be honest and i was kind of scared to buy this I have another product, but it's like the travel size, and it's the pink one, and it's for skin, skin clearing, and yeah, it did not tell me online if it was cruelty free or natural, but it's cute. Look at that. It has orange and bergamot. I don't know if I pronounced that right, but it has that in there, and it's the Super Cleansing Detox Mask cleanses impurities for a clearer, brighter complexion. The energy of the orange recharges while sea salt cleanses. And the bergamot 
balances your face will notice the difference. So this has been out since 1933, you can see. So, yeah. <laughs> then I have this body shop tea tree mask. This is what it looks like. I don't buy from the body shop, but this is like this was like fifteen dollars, and it makes me sad because I used my babysitting money on this, and it's not like oh I regret it, but I don't use it a lot because I don't have a lot of breakouts. But it's like an ogre green, if you can't tell. It smells good, but it's also very small. It says it's suitable for blemished skin. If you don't know, this brand is vegan. And it's cruelty free, so yeah, it has a lot of um, natural ingredients in it, which I like. So yeah, then I have this Desert Essence face wash. Looks like this. This is my second time purchasing it, and um, personally, I like this. It's small, but it gets the job done so yeah um they have another brand it's like the not the brand but like the scent it's a sea kelp one and I have it and I was like I wanted to try it but it smells like ass and I hated it and I want to give it away to someone but it was like seven dollars I think I don't know it sounds so inaccurate in my opinion but it was just since it's all natural it's pricey but it's worth it so yeah um they don't just have face washes they have other things so yeah it's pretty underrated in my opinion not a lot of people use this um normally have they normally use like the trader joe's version of it but it's still the same thing so yeah um, lastly, I don't, wait, 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 I don't know if I used, um, showed you guys this oil-free moisturizer, but this wasn't originally mine, it was my mom's, and I used it because my skin was very dry, and it was like, um, I needed to put moisture into it. And it's um, natural, but it's pricey. It's like $12, I think. And um, it doesn't do anything for acne, by the way. If you are wondering, it just moisturizes your skin. That's all. And that's what it looks like. Again, it's a cute packaging. It's small. It's like four ounces. And um, it's cruelty free. But it's lentil seed extract helps limit shine, shininess and diminish the appearance of enlarged pores. It refreshes, clarifies, and tones natural pe peptides from maca promote a radiant, even looking skin tones while helping diminish the appearance of fine lines. So yeah. I don't know if a lot of people use this. I saw this at Grocery Outlet and it was kind of pricey but my mom's had this for a while and um, I like it I use this like every single day so yeah lastly I have this oop lastly I have this Indian healing clay mask you've probably seen this because everyone has this and um, everyone swears by this I've used this many many times and I love it so yeah it's the world's most powerful mask and it helps with acne. Use this with water or um, raw apple cider vinegar and you keep it on for 5 to 10 minutes and that's about it. You wash it off, call it a day. So, um, that's about it. Hopefully you like this video. Hopefully you and liked the products i don't know i know i like the products because i'm showing you but yeah see you when i see you bye